so welcome back to our platform and thank you so much for joining today so guys without wasting more time let's talk about this other opportunity to those who are interested in poland those who have been asking me if they can actually immigrate to poland with their family this is the video for you today and this is july i want to tell you that some few schools let me share this year before we proceed I want to tell you that if you think you want to apply to Poland or if you have been thinking of applying to Poland, please check some schools in Poland. There are still some few schools that are open and accepting applications from international students. Remember, if you are applying to Poland or to any Polish institution, you should be sure that if you get admission, you may be able to locate an embassy that will give you an appointment because appointments are usually the problem and sometimes students from west africa get stranded now i have shared this please do one thing for me share this video and also like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel the reason i'm asking for this is because that's the only thing you can do for me to encourage me to make more content right thank you so much now let's talk about this can i move to poland with my family if i'm going on a student visa the answer is yes and the answer is no now i'm going to give you different scenarios based on uh, who you are as a student in poland let me begin with phd students as a phd student or postdoctoral students or doctoral candidates who are moving to poland if you are moving from your home country you can immediately move with your family yes it is very possible now this is because doctorate's program or let me say a phd take at least four years and sometimes doctorate students are researchers right this set of people do not pay any tuition in poland yeah that is a fact even if you say some schools they do charge money but doctorate students they do have some allowances that are given to them monthly for their research all right most countries in europe do like they do not charge doctorate students even in the czech republic if you check most schools like those students who or students who are studying at the university of pardubis or those at the czech university of life sciences you are going to understand what i am talking about so as a phd student or a doctoral candidate moving to poland you can move with your family the embassy is going to approve your visa alongside that of your family or children now the next set of people who can move with their families to poland are those that are master's degree students but hey you cannot move immediately you are going to poland to start your masters what happens is you can move to poland first then when you go into poland you start your studies then the polish government is going to give you what is called your temporary residence permit or card temporary residence card now with this temporary residence card you can invite your family but wait i didn't give you all the documents that you need the other documents you need to add to the temporary residence card are your work contract of course because if you have a part-time job you will be given a contract that's why i always tell people that get uh maybe if you are moving to europe no matter the job you are doing get a contract because this job can save you do many things at once now in addition to the contract and your trc you also need to add your accommodation because you need to prove to the polish government that you have a space where your family can come in and live with you right so it makes sense that way so you need an accommodation contract as well then with this accommodation contract you also need a functional insurance that is covering you of course every international student in every country abroad has an insurance because if you work it means you pay insurance even if you don't pay insurance from your job your employer should be the one to pay your insurance coverage so this is what you need to know these are the first two sets of people who can actually carry their families to poland successfully then the other people who can also carry their families to poland successfully are those on work visas when you are moving to poland on a work visa there is a probability for you to move with your family but hey do not forget that in such cases you need a lot of money and sometimes the embassy might complicate a lot of things depending on your contract with your employer so what i would advise you to do is and this is the advice you should take 
if you move to poland you will now get an accommodation you will equally get maybe a functional insurance and put all these things together in addition to your bank statement it is easy for the embassy to give your family an invitation visa that's the tourist visa visa on invitation i hope you understand then when they come into poland you can now make them permanent now not that as a student if you invite your family to poland when they come in there is a tendency or there is a possibility for you to extend their visas and of course you can equally either you extend the visas for another one year or you can just go straight and apply for an open residence permit for them it is possible for you to do this okay most people don't know about this that's why i am sharing these details here so this is what you should know now another thing you should understand is on the part of uh, legalization of uh, academic credentials before you can apply for a school in uh, poland someone equally was asking me milton can i apply for schools without necessarily going through the process of legalization because i think it's going to need a lot of money and all i have is application fee okay this is my reply to you i don't know remember the person again but again this is the reply you need before you even apply to any school or any program in any school in poland is make sure you go through the school's website to know the requirements that you need it's so essential because if you do not know the requirements how do you intend to apply and how do you intend to get results so the first thing is go to the school's website and check the requirements some schools will specify there that you have to legalize your documents before you apply some will say they just need the authenticated format which means that you have to do it only at the level of the ministry of education foreign affairs and you are good to go to do the application you get then others will tell you that okay we need the legalized copies which means you have to go through the embassy but on the study it varies from school to school some schools may not even ask for this but everything will be on the school's website we encourage you to always check the requirements of the program before you go about applying for the school it makes a lot of sense this way now another question is uh, not directly but also relates to poland somebody asked me somewhere i remember how many years will you get for post study visa when you finish your school now as an international student understand that certain countries give you different options like the different time like the duration for you to get your post study post study means that the visa you are going to get to stay back and look for a job then when you get that job before somebody can actually like their employer now can actually give you an open permit where you can remain in the country maybe for three or four years or even more so for you to get this when you finish your studies in poland you are going to get what is called a nine month permit this nine months permit is for you to stay back for nine months and look for a job then apply for a job now when you get this job your employer is going to now do a real permit for you a permanent permit where you are going to stay back and remain maybe work for like three to four years before they can renew it in case depending on the contracts by the way so you need nine months first you will get nine months first then after the nine months you will now be looking for a job make sure it's about because i always pray that when you even like try to look for a job you should get it before these nine months expire for poland they will give you nine months switzerland will give you six months then countries like denmark will give you three years and a country like romania will give you nine months as well other countries like canada will give you one year or three years depending on the program this nine months is a guarantee it now depends on the employer and if you find a job to extend it then another thing you should note is that somebody was equally asking about the minimum wage in poland Poland. minimum wage in poland is about 980 euros that is to say about 4242 police loyalty now remember when it comes to real jobs in poland it depends i'm just putting this at a full-time as a student working part-time you cannot get this amount in poland so you should know this but in poland students can work full-time part-time nobody will disturb you but make sure you actually study full-time or maybe you plan yourself well to study because that is why you are in poland and your visa can only be extended if you pass the various courses you need to score the number of etcs you need for that particular semester i hope you understand so note that you are going to be earning 982 
this is for full-time basis for now i'm not talking based on part-time right i hope you understand then those who are asking if there are applications please remember that when you're applying for schools especially in poland their application fee is not that much so i don't really expect well it may be not it may be much to you but to me it's not that much because if you look at it very well it's around 20 euros or 21 or 22 maximum that's 85 police loyalty most schools charge 85 police loyalty so you should put this into consideration guys i don't think application fee should be the problem in case you want to move to poland because if application fee is the problem then what about the tuition fee please put this into consideration it's so important now we are going to talk about other in subsequent like other uh, issues in subsequent videos and we are going to be touching various countries